sometimes you might want to do something different, different uh, according to uh, how many parameters you have. One example of this is the random function. When you do random 10, uh, 12, it will do the same thing as this. So you have at some point in the random uh, definition, if there's one parameter, go to zero to this parameter. If there's two parameters, go to the f from the first to the last parameter. So yeah, you can do some stuff with the parameter, parameter count. Okay, so yeah, I will revert back to my own way of doing things because we like our own ways. That's how I use a print and a sign function. Uh, is there, since we are reaching the end, is there any question? Mm. Uh, oh, you're talking French in this chat. That's. Uh, I teach trigonometry sometimes, and this is very annoying. Yeah. Ah, okay. So your the pronunciation. Uh, is the same okay uh, I would uh, I would use the Latin uh, pronunciation cine I don't think <laughs> I don't know if cine existed in uh, the Latin world in French we say sinus or cosinus so uh, well I so what you <laughs> Okay, I thought we wanted to create a function which returns the sine. No, no, no. Uh, this such a function already exists in, uh, in construct2. The sine function doesn't exist, and uh, that's uh, kind of not a problem because we can create it and we can do whatever you, we want for the zero parameter. What uh, suit? Uh, I uh, sometimes use the sine function to. Uh, know in which direction a player is going if its uh, x vector is positive or negative I know if it's going to the left or to the right uh, I should uh, I really try I don't think I have time in the live session but to do a video just on the platform uh, behavior I have a, an interesting KPX who showed you how uh, the variation the variation of the parameters uh, influence the movement pretty interesting um, yeah yeah uh, newt is right you can't speak with function that's the only thing that I, uh, I that can be missed from uh, construct classic that you can't pick with function but oftentimes you can just pass the UID and repick your object inside your function that's not a real uh, big deal so uh, okay yeah before calling the function you're forgotten yep Alright, uh, function don't have access. Yep, uh, yep, exactly what Kat said. I'm just uh, copying what he's saying. Cine Conan, okay. <laughs> oh, good thing for the lesson. Okay, I got a bit lost in the function, but it's fine. I mean, uh, let me call you Kai. Kai, uh, I invite you to to run some tests, just test the function uh, you have an ID of a function, create it, even if the function already exists in the in the um, in C2, you can try to remake it for instance, it's a good way to learn and uh, this way you try your function and if anything uh, happens you don't understand you post in the reddit in the subreddit uh, which is uh, over here and I will be here, me or Kiat or anything, uh, any of the student can answer any of the other student question. Yeah, there's no problem. And uh, yeah, to, 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 uh, function, uh, advanced concept, maybe a bit, maybe a bit. There's many things you can do in Construct 2 without using function. It's not uh, indispensable, but it's pretty useful. Uh, one last thing I wanted to... No, there's no real ways to do uh, text box formatting. It's not uh, HTML. It's a simple uh, uh, block of text. You can't really uh, say, uh, I want this part to be um, in, 
in blue, this part in uh, in uh, in red. You can't do this. I want to talk to you about two last thing before you you leave. I have been asked to uh, provide you with some interesting challenge. If you don't have any idea for games, or if you don't, you just want to test some test your uh, test C2. I have this first challenge for you, which is I will provide you with uh, these assets. There's no problem. Which is uh, a parallax uh, effect, which uses four layers, and which uh, gives a kind of impression of depth. So I in, I will I challenge you. I will uh, in the subreddit and in the course page I will give you the the um, the assets the bridge the the river and the mountains and the sun and the sky and you will if you want it's not really mandatory at all but you can try to remake this example let me give you the link so and uh, one extra challenge I, I, I can give you with this, uh, this um, example is it's not a homework, uh, homework, it's not mandatory Don't uh, and it won't be really, uh, I will release at some point my own answer and you can uh, release in uh, the forum your own answer, there's no problem with that create a topic Release your answer. I can uh, check it uh, and, and say if you did well or not. But I don't know if, uh, I, depending on how much, how many people will release something, I don't know if I can see everyone. But uh, you can you between yourself see what you did and uh, comment. There's no problem. And for a little bit in-depth challenge in inside this one challenge. I will provide you with really, really fat <laughs> image. You have, uh, I think, uh, the images are something like. Let me check that. Um, the images are about uh, in size challenge. Uh, yeah, uh, one thousand and two hundred by nine hundred. That's uh, and that's the size of the mountain, the fog, the the river image, and I think the bridge as well, and, and the little gradient in the in the background. Only the sun is a a tiny uh, a tiny sprite of 32 by 32, but everything else is pretty big, and. You may know that big assets is not a good idea for download time and for uh, performance. So I invite you, if you already, if you find this challenge uh, easy enough, I invite you to try optimizing the assets. To uh, To, uh, there's there's many ways, many things you can do to uh, reduce the size of assets you to be used in this. There's tricks. There's uh, many things. I will uh, release uh, an, an my own answer uh, between uh, next week and the last lesson. I don't know exactly. I will see. Uh, in the forum, how things works. You don't have to go see it before you. Uh, you can. Uh, if I release the answer, you can uh, try on your own before, uh, without picking, and then uh, check the answer. Uh, don't worry, Luke. I will post a link in the subreddit. I will post a link in the course page, even maybe in the forum post. Uh, so you will access, access them. I can uh, well. I can even pass the link here. Uh, let me check that. Uh, <laughs> I will. 
give you the link to the assets in uh, okay okay short link here it's a uh, zip with the I think it's uh, six uh, image only so yeah there's this challenge there's another challenge a little bit uh, maybe harder I don't know you can try to to do it's a simple uh, let me find it uh, where are you challenge I challenge you to show yourself um, <laughs> ah. okay so as a uh, another challenge if you find this one too easy there's this simple one that's a drag and drop effect but without using the drag and drop behavior I, I like uh, myself I like uh, reinventing the wheel for the sake of learning uh, Kiat would probably <laughs> disagree with me why don't you use the behavior but I think it's uh, an interesting problem it's uh, uh, you you encounter picking with that you encounter uh, here I left a bug for instance maybe you can solve the problem here I will pick both instance which can be a problem maybe you can solve this bug my pronunciation is perfect yet I don't uh, okay drag and drop drag and drop okay so uh, yeah I invite you to try I challenge you to try doing a drag and drop by events I will even tell you that it took me I think three events to make this thing and uh, debugging this problem would probably not augment the number of events. Can only tell you this. Okay, we c you can try to find out how to make a, a hand uh, cursor appear on top of the object as well. And for that, for this, uh, you only need the mouse plugin and the sprite plugin. That's the only thing I will, uh, the only hints I will give you for now. So yeah, two challenge: parallax or drag and drop. You don't need any assets for this one, of course. Okay, so I think I'm the. Oh, I say I wanted to say you two last thing. The first was these challenges. The second one is this. You may not know about Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare, if you want, if you dare say so. Ludum Dare, 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 it's Latin, so Dare, is a game context, a game jam context, contest, uh, which will uh, start about our last lesson so you should know in our last lesson lesson we just we will probably talk about audio and uh, and uh, also um, export and uh, third party plugins uh, so you should even before uh, this date you should know enough to uh, do a game in the ludum there what i challenge you it's, uh, even an, it's another challenge it's to try to participate in the Ludum Dare it's uh, pretty fun, it uh, lasts uh, two days if you do the compo so it's uh, th Saturday and Sunday and three days if you do the jam which has less uh, constraint in the compo you have to do everything yourself or, or I think you can do teamwork so you have to do uh, every asset, every sound yourself in the jam you can I think uh, take some assets, uh, some free uh, creative common assets 
So yeah, uh, it's. Uh